Hey guys, Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel here. I've got something really special to show you today. I'm on the white, I'm on the KTM 250XC, the 2017, and I'm going up this wash on this trail. And then I'm gonna turn, once I get up to the top part of it, I'm gonna turn around, bring the bike back down, and then get on the 300 and do the exact same section of trail. And I'm gonna shift in the same places you'll see in the video. I will, uh, first I'm gonna show you this uh, with taking the 250 up, and then I'm gonna roll it back and do the exact same run on the 300, and we'll see which one yeah, is better. Is something about this thing. Grab another gear. Something about the motor on this for this kind of stuff. I'm preferring the 250. Now that might change up in the more technical stuff. I think it will. But for right here, I say give me the 250 that I'm on. I'm going to turn around and do that section again. Now I want you to notice something. I said that I preferred the 250. I was like, hey, I like the 250 on this. Give it to me. And so going back, I expect it to be worse on the 300 and I expected to not enjoy it as much going up the wash. What follows is the exact thing that happened. I will put both screens side by side and we'll see which one I was faster on. Through, do the same thing. There's just something about this thing. Shifting up into third gear. Notice how consistently I want to shift at the exact same place on both bikes. I shifted on both bikes in the audio. And you can see by these rocks here, I'm in the exact same place on both bikes. Some about this, that first little section of motor on this. And then for this kind of stuff, get into here. I'm preferring the 250. Now that did you hear what I just said? I just said I prefer the 250, but look, I'm actually ahead of myself on the 300. I'm like a bike length ahead at this point. That might change up in the more technical stuff. I think it will. But for right here, <laughs> it's like splitting hairs. Look at that tree on the right side of the screen while I'm on the 300. I am like 60 or 70 feet ahead of myself on that 300. Even though I thought I wasn't in as good of a flow and I thought that the 250 felt better to me, which it did. And Sam's gonna say up the top of this hill, he prefers riding the 250 up the thing and so did I. But guess what? The results on the 300 were even better. I say give me the 250. Let him on. So that's like splitting hairs through that section to me, but I still give the edge to that bike. What I meant by that is I felt like I was having a better flow on the 250 and I felt like I was faster on the 250 and I felt more comfortable on the 250, but I wasn't any faster. So a lot of this is just, which bike do you like to ride more? What do you think? You know, like how the two, the 250 is what I'm saying. I'm on the 300 this last time. I preferred slightly the 250, but I could be talked out of it on that one. So, you know how it felt like when we were riding the 350 versus yeah. the 250 F? Yeah. And where the 250 just felt more nimble? Uh huh. This one feels more nimble than that one. It just Good. turns easier. You can kind of put it where you want. It doesn't feel like it has a little bit of mass over the over the um, the whole bike like that does. But the thing is, it's like a section like that, like that was phenomenal. But this one, I felt more playful on. Yeah. Which is, it was weird because it's the same bike. Other yeah. Than a, a 250 versus a 300. Yeah. Okay. Still on the 300 now. Wow, this thing has got power. 
Now, I don't want you guys to think that what I'm saying is that you'll be faster if you're on a 300, because even though I was a little bit faster on the 300, I preferred to ride the 250 in this terrain. What I am saying, though, is that both bikes are incredibly, incredibly good, and it's like splitting hair, so it's a preference thing. Some guys are going to like the way that the 250 feels, some guys are going to like the way that the power on the 300 is, and that's okay. For having so much in common, just a little bit of difference there on the cylinders it does give them, you know, unique characteristics. Okay, you go ahead. I'm on the 250 again. Sam's on the 300 up there. See if we can hang with Sam here. At the end of this ride and in a video that will be upcoming, you'll see me and Sam sitting under a tree talking about how, you know, if we're going to give a point to one of these two bikes, we kind of give the point, award the point to the 250 today because it just felt a little bit more nibble and it felt a little bit more free flowing out here in the desert. But it's not like it's better. It's just that we both prefer to on this day with these conditions. And these, bolt, these two bikes are really, really similar but have some subtle differences, and it was so fun to go back to back to back on these two bikes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we may have to adjust our trail here. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.